guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. I am super excited to be filming this one. I am going to be doing a full review and swatches of the brand new Kylie Naughty palette from her 2017 holiday launch. Now Kylie launched two palettes as part of this launch. She had the nice and the naughty palettes. Totally adorable and both palettes looked absolutely beautiful to me. But to be completely honest, the nice palette had a ton of shades. Again, they were absolutely stunning, but I just had those shades in so many other palettes that I own. And I have been in such a creative funk lately that I wanted something that kind of pushed the envelope and, and would make me become a little bit more creative. As you can see, the look that I have on right now is something that I do not typically do. You don't see me wearing makeup like this very often on my channel. Again, it doesn't mean I don't like this makeup because I definitely love it. I love red lipstick. Like I'm obsessed. It's almost as if I'm not like daring enough to wear it. And I don't know why. Because because it's beautiful and who cares? It's makeup. At the end of the day, you can wash it off. It's all about self-expression and F what anyone else thinks, right? We should all be living like that. Of course, before we get started, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. If you want notifications when I upload new videos, I upload videos two times a week. I do have a full-time job outside of YouTube, so I don't have designated days right now that I promise to have videos up. So it is definitely important to hit that bell button right next to that subscribe button there so that you actually get the notifications when I upload new videos. I wanna take this time right now to thank all of my brand new subscribers. I've gotten quite a few recently and I just appreciate your support and giving me your time and actually spending a part of your day watching little old me. So let's go ahead with that being said and jump right into this review. So here's the packaging that the palette comes in. It is absolutely adorable. You see naughty here written in like a metallic print and then it's kind of got like this wavy chevron-y type pattern here that is glitter. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. Absolutely adorable. And then on the back here you will see all of the shade names and the ingredients but of course my lights are so reflective. You're not gonna be able to see that too well. So here's what the palette looks like here. It says naughty and the black letters are actually filled in with like this velvety type material. It's super soft, again, super adorable. It feels very heavy, very luxurious. When a makeup item feels heavy, I don't know why I interpret it that as being luxurious, but that's just my opinion. And then on the side here, you've got more detail with the silver lines here, almost like a candy cane. And then again, on the back, you have all of your shade names, Kylie, the weight per shadow. Open it up and you do actually get a very nice mirror in here. I, you could definitely get ready. What the heck is on my face? Random. You can definitely get ready using this mirror. It's nice enough for that. It's very clear, very crisp. And then here are all of the shadows. So right away looking at this, you can see that this is something that would challenge your creativity a little bit more, at least for me. You've got all these different pops of colors. You've got this bright red shade here. This is the shade that actually turned me on to this palette the most. I was like, that shade. I need it because I can actually see myself using that in conjunction with other shades. If I want to create like a red fiery look, I can use other palettes and dip into that if I need just like that bright red color. So when I saw these shades too, I definitely saw this as something that I just wouldn't have to use for the holidays. Let's see, you get eight matte shades. You get a pressed glitter shade and then you get one, two, three, four, four metallic-y shades and then you get one that is a matte satin with like a glitter in it. I don't really know how to describe those. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert a picture of some swatches right here for you guys. If any of you have been following me for any amount of time, you guys know that I loathe swatching. It doesn't mean that I hate swatches themselves. It's just so messy, it's so time consuming that I feel like you're gonna get a better idea anyway if I just insert this picture. So the picture that I inserted did have a flash. One thing I'm gonna point out right away, as you can probably see, is the pigmentation of those matte shades is incredible something to thank the eyeshadow gods for. They blend like a dream. They are so creamy, so buttery, and so pigmented. They are just fabulous. This is actually my first eyeshadow palette from Kylie Cosmetics, and I am pretty impressed alone just with those matte shades. So let's go ahead and talk about what I have on my eyes right now. 
all the shadow that you see in my eyes 100% came from this palette. So after I primed my eyes with some concealer, I went ahead and went in with Snowball here and used that as my transition shade. On top of that, I went in and worked Tipsy right here this shade into my crease and then I deepened it up by putting coal in using a smaller um, crease brush working that into my crease and then focusing on the outer corners using that shade to deepen things up and then all over the lid I went in with this beautiful reflective metallic shade here called snowflake you guys that snowflake shade is like none other I have literally never used a metallic shade that reflective without having to use any kind of setting spray, water, Fix Plus. Oh my God, it is, dare I say, orgasmic. It is like liquid metal. Look at this. It is absolutely beautiful. Like when I used, um, so I went in and used a flat like shader brush and then just packed it onto my lid. I was hesitant because I always try shadows first without Fix Plus. I don't know why I do that. You guys know it's kind of a given with metallic shimmer shades. In order to get full color payoff, you're typically going to have to spray the product with some sort of setting spray. This one, not the case. Literally, I was stunned. You don't need it. It just packs right onto your lid. It is so beautiful. Like I said, it's like liquid shiny metal. I'm obsessed. It's like I'm drawn to it like. And then what I put on the bottom lash line, you guys know I love putting a pop of color on the bottom lash line. I used this dark maroon shade here called Unwrap Me. And then I went ahead and used Snowball to highlight under the brow bone and in the inner corner. So those are the shades that I used on my lids. I wanted to go for a very smoky, intense, but kind of cool tone look. And, and I feel like these shades just accomplish that. And it worked beautiful. I had no issue with blending, no issue with fallout, nothing. One shade I want to talk about in the palette outside of what's on my lids is this shade Jingle right here. As you can see, if you put your finger into it, so you can see that there is some sort of reflectiveness to it, but it is like a pressed glitter. So with that shade, you're definitely going to want to use some glitter glue. I recommend the NYX glitter glue. It's like five bucks and it works beautifully. That will look so stunning on your eyes. Another look that I'm very anxious to create is to use a bright pop of color like you see on my lips here and then just go ahead and kind of deepen my crease just a little bit with like a natural shade and then just pop some of that glitter glue on and just make my eyes just like that champagne glitter and then do like a thick black wing. Oh how stunning would that be? I definitely have to try that out next. Merry Mint is another shade that I'm excited to use here. It's like a matte cool tone mint. It reminds me of like peppermint or like mint chocolate chip ice cream. Emerald is a beautiful matte emerald tone. It says it right in the name. It is absolutely stunning. Saint Nick, this red shade here that I mentioned, I played with that yesterday and I created a look. I wanted to dip into the palette, obviously get an idea of how everything blended, how everything worked before I sat down and recorded this video for you guys. Amazing. Blended out like butter. Like it was just so cool. It was so fiery red. I will say that all the shades in this palette are very true to what you see in the pan. None of them are muddy. None of them blend out to nothing. They are very true to what you see in the pan. The only shade that I'm not excited about and that I really don't like that much, this shade glazed here. The shade is beautiful. If you look and you swatch it, it's just a very kind of light metallic. I don't even know if that's showing up. That might have been useless, but metallic -y gold shade. I am just not a huge fan of gold shadows. I, I don't know what it is. I don't like yellow gold based metallics. I like more champagne undertones or pink undertones. Just something a little bit more on the light side. I don't like that stark yellow gold eyeshadow look. I can see maybe if you just swept this color over the lid and that was the only color that you used, it would be okay. But for me personally, it's just not my style. I really don't ever see myself going into that shade. And then the shade Hot Toddy right here is like this bright brown matte shade. Um, like I said, it's like a satiny matte, but it does have some gold reflex in it. That shade is absolutely beautiful too. Overall, this palette, I would definitely say it gets an A. I love all the shades in here. I think that there's so many colors, so many possibilities for looks in here. Again, you wouldn't have to just use this for the holidays. This would be a perfect palette to have for like a night out or if you need more sultry looks, more smoky, more glam. This is definitely going to do it for you. And I can say that Kylie, you make me want to try more of your eyeshadow palettes now that I've tried this one um, because yeah, it is gorgeous and I'm totally 100% 
thoroughly impressed with the quality of the shadows and the pigmentation and the blendability. I definitely, definitely recommend picking it up if it's still available. When I bought this, you guys, it sold out in like three minutes. I'm not kidding. It sold out in three minutes. I think it was like the first part of the collection to actually sell out when it was launched on the website. I know that she recently did do a restock, but again, I haven't looked recently, so I don't know if this is available again. But if you're looking for something like this and you want something a little bit unique to jazz up your collection, I have so many freaking eyeshadow palettes. This finally is something different for me, like something I don't already have. And I am thankful for that. So thank you, Kylie, for releasing something different. So that is my overall review of this. If you guys are curious as to what is on my lips, I discovered a brand new combination tonight that I am absolutely obsessed with. Let me show you. If you guys have not tried out any of the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Matte Lipsticks, you have to. These are $4.99. They are by far the most comfortable, like ultra matte lipsticks. They aren't overly drying. They are long lasting and they are super opaque. And again, they're $4.99. Hands down, bar none, the best matte lipsticks from the drugstore. It can't be beat. And so what I did was I laid this on my lips and then I topped it with this ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip. This is the My Little Pony. Oh my God, the glitter on this, you guys, if I add this to this lipstick, it is just like, look at that super glittery and reflective. Oh my God, it like takes this lip color to a whole new level, especially for the holidays. Like, wow, I am in love. So this was like $5 on the ColourPop website, $4.99 from the drugstore, 10 bucks. And then obviously you could top any other like bolder matte lipsticks that you have and just add like that super glittery shine if you want like that extra pop of glam. You got to get your hands on something like this, like a lip topper or something with glitter because, girl, it is game changing. It has changed the game for me with my matte lipsticks. All right, you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Leave me a comment in the comment section down below if you picked up anything from the Kylie Holiday 2017 collection. Did you like it? Did you not like it? What do you think of the look that I created with it? And then also, you guys, let me know what's one thing that is on your holiday wish list. What is that one like makeup or beauty item that you just are hoping so, so badly for to get for Christmas or the holidays or whatever? whatever it is, wish list, whatever it is you celebrate, I don't discriminate, whatever it is, something that you want. Just leave me in the comment section. Um, leave me a comment. I don't know why I can't say that tonight. Leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I love getting your guys' comments. I love talking back. I try to reply to everyone and I just think it is so, so fun when the community and everyone gets together and we talk and we have these discussions and feedback. It's just super, super fun. Before you leave, again, I will ask you to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you next time. Be on the lookout. I'm going to be doing some holiday glam tutorials. Definitely trying to be putting some more like tutorials on my channel. So I, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a beautiful weekend and I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Bye.